hi guys i'm helen ebay welcome back to my channel um thank you guys for joining me on my improvisation series uh, i believe that one of the best ways a musician can really enjoy and express themselves you know have this intimate relationship with their instrument is by improvising it's kind of like your unique fingerprints and that's why it's a bit tricky to teach because you can for me in my opinion you can just you can only be taught the basics and you know some theory and how to actually approach um, chords and you know improvising over chords but a lot of your soloing will depend on you on how you want the sound on your tone articulation dynamics you know phrasing and stuff like that and this is built by you listening to other people transcribing solos and when you do that over time you kind of build your own style and your own tone or tweaking sounds here and there to kind of find your own tone and your sound that being said if you're a complete beginner this lesson might not be for you <laughs> because improvisation is kind of like the bridge between complete beginner and heading towards intermediate if you don't know things like basic chords um mu the musical alphabets what your root note is um keys and you know fundamental stuff like that then improvisation is not for you right now you have to go through all those things first you can check out my beginners series if you want to start that i'll put a link somewhere either in the description or up here so the first lesson we're going to look at today is fretboard mastery for me this is one of the ways that you can get really intimate and familiar with your guitar when you see people go from the neck all the way up and go down again it's because they've kind of mastered their fretboard and they know little shapes and boxes across the fretboard that makes life a whole lot easier so what we're going to do right now to keep things simple at first we will start we'll try to play all the notes on the fretboard one string one finger at a time that easy right <laughs> that's what we're going to start with first so for example with our index finger and the high E string so E F G A B C D E F G A B C and if your guitar has 24 frets you can still go all the way okay so what I want you to do right now is call out the notes actually say the notes as you as you are playing it okay we're going to descend now and as you're descending try to call the notes to C B A G F E D C B A G And with that same um, arrangement, you progress onto other strings, like the B string, for example. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. Third string G A B C D E F G A B C D E E D C B A G F D C B A G All right, and then do the same thing across all six string i can't do everything right now because of time but on your own try to take your time to do it one string at a time calling out the notes this is how you get familiar with your fretboard we are going to do the same thing one um string at a time but right now we'll group the notes in twos instead of one 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 we'll do something like this e f g a d c D E F G A B, and then the 
sending B A G F E D C B A G F E Okay and then on the B string we do the same thing B C D E F G A B C D E F F E D C B A G F E D B C and then the third string G B B C D E F G A B C D D C B A G F E D C B A G All right, and with this one, the fingering is um, if it's two frets away, um, like for example A B. Then you use your you start with your index and your ring finger. So, but if it's just one fret away, then it will be your index finger and your ring finger. Okay, so one three one two. Okay, one three. Of course, you do this across all six strings, doing the same thing grouping it in twos calling out the notes so now that we are done with the two note group we can take it up a notch and do three notes a string like this e f g a b c d e f g a b b a g f e d c b a g f e and then next string b c d e f g a b c d e f f e d c b a g f e d c b just like the two note per string the three notes per string will be led by the index finger for the fingering okay <laughs> and then we descend back with the same fingering so another step that we are going to do is incorporate other strings into the sequence like um, for example let's just take string 2 and string 1 we'll do the 3 note per string on string 2 and two, 3 notes per string on string 1 like um, this you know that the next couple of notes in this series can also be found on the first string instead of this you can play it on the first string like this so B C D E F G and then we are going to start one note above the previous starting notes um, we, we started at B before now we'll start at C C D E F G A B C D E F G C D E F G A D E F G A B E F G A B C and you can just go on and of course you go backwards the same thing on the second and third strings try to be as slow as you can and then build up speed a b c d e f b c d e f g c d e f g a and then you go backwards too and now we'll also try this same sequence with three strings a b c d e f g a b 
B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Guys, you, see, you do the same thing upwards and downwards until you can do all six strings and then you keep pairing them two one and two two and three three and four four and five five and six um three two one four three two one five four three two one until you can do all six strings <laughs> guys why I'm doing it this way is because I want you to start thinking of everything you play on the fretboard as notes not as um, nine, str nine frets on the second string or eight frets on the fifth string or sofa notations I want you to kind of see everything you play as notes that will open up a wide range of op options especially when you want to start playing modes and all of that also it kind of opens up avenues for reading musical notations when you know the notes um, when you want to read musical notations I think it makes it a bit easier okay playing the notes forwards and backwards like this makes you have a more intimate understanding and knowledge of the fretboard another thing that can help you um, visualize the fretboard in the broader sense is uh, octaves um, you know octaves are like there's an exercise I want you to do it's um you know trying to visualize the fretboard just pick out a random note let's say G for example and try to find it all over the fretboard let's say okay G right okay there's a G here, there's one here, there's an open string, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. And you know, just all over the fretboard, just try as fast as you can. Or you can have someone call out a random note for you and then you just, you know, look for it all over the fretboard. Because wherever you are on the fretboard, you can easily find that note. And if it is your root note, you can always land back there because you know where it is. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Keep practicing one string at a time until you get it. Bye.